Okay, Hello. this is really exciting. I haven't seen them for like two years, actually before the pandemic, and you both look great. Donald Preston and, and Katha Cato, and they are the masterminds, the producers of the Queen's World Film Festival. And, and before, I, before I even start any question, could you say what you said before about welcome to the Queen's Film Festival? So I great. certainly can. Welcome to the 12th Annual Queen's World Film Festival. 157 films, 27 nations, six days, five venues, and you. <laughs> She did that really well before. I wanted to do it again. So it's great seeing you again. Good. It's been like two years. Good to be but, seen. but you, you did okay through the pandemic and yes, everything. Yes, we did. And we you did. managed through all this, and now and now this thing is bigger and better than ever. Well, we'll yep. see. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> you know, everything is new and different, and the world is coming out of a global trauma. And some people are very anxious to come back in and and into the experiences like this, and some people are cautiously returning. Yeah. 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 And, and Donald, you guys. You guys pick a certain type of film that you focus on, which I love. Tell everyone about the type of film you choose. Well, the, the kinds of films that we like to choose are those that are edgy, that follow through with their idea, no matter what it might be. And we want the filmmaker to take a stand and don't just give us a happy ending. You know, we want a, you know, a good punch in the face. I'll buy it. I mean, that's what I like to hear. I can be, you know, earn it. And stay for stay in there. Telling it like it is, not sugarcoating anything. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Indie well, films have have an incredible opportunity to hold a mirror to reflect. They're not fifty five million, four hundred million dollar pictures beholden to many many stakeholders. These are the stories of those filmmakers, and you know we have to celebrate them. We've got to support them. There's a whole other relevance to independent filmmakers. I, and you know that I worked in the studios out in LA, I've got a big budget thing going on now, but there's something about independent filmmakers who are out there with their message and a different kind of drive and different kind of excitement yes. that you got to love. And you're the only film festival that kind of goes after and captures that. That's exactly what we go after. And so we've got films at different levels of, of, in terms of their ability to tell stories, but the one thing they all have is a lot of guts. <laughs> The stories are That's gutsy, right. and I would say this year the lineup is very bold, very bold. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think that people, two things happen. Some people had the opportunity to finish work, and I think other people were faced with a global pandemic and said, you know what, I'm running out of time. I, I'm going to tell my story, and I'm going to do it now. And yes. we're thankful for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, that energy, the post-pandemic energy, people are rushing out to get other projects done. Yeah. They're not waiting for it. So, uh, so listen, thank you. for. I took you away from all these great people. That's thank you right. very much. Right. I love you both. It's really nice seeing you again. It's great to You're see you. Great. See you. We're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll right. see you in Queens. We'll see you in Queens. Right here. <laughs>